Hey everyone, Nino here and welcome back to Grimoire. So today we are trying, or at least I'm gonna try, to change a few things in Brooktown. And the first thing I'm gonna do, uh, before anything else is, do we have any connection or electricity connection out? No, we don't. I don't think so. We have a problem with that. We have many people dying, which... Maybe the reason of the fires, I don't know. We have a lot of people dead in here in uh, in Victoria Town. But maybe because we only have a cemetery around here in Brook. We probably should build more. We should build another one here in Westbrook and Victoria Town. But before doing any of that, what we're going to do today is we're going to change Brook Town a little bit. And what we're going to do is we are going to change this main avenue over here, or this main road. We're going to change that, we're going to upgrade it to a uh, higher density or a higher... Um, it, it, yeah, it's, it's called... Uh, let me, I, sometimes I forget the name. So it's to a medium road, I'm really sorry, not a uh, high... Not a large road, just a medium road. We're gonna change that for maybe a regular one, or maybe one with a little bit of green. I'm not really 100% sure. That means also that this entire strip or buildings around it will have, uh, will be high density commercial. And we are probably, I'm not completely sure if I'm going to do any runabout. I, I would like to have one around here maybe. And eventually, with the runabout, you would do a left and keep continue the, the main avenue up to West Brook. And also, I need to figure out, probably I'll, I will have enough time for today's video. I will try to do, maybe, and look around the, the bus lines, which I did in the previous episode, but I just did it really fast. We're seeing that, because I built this one, the, the, central, the central bus line. Uh, or a bus station, I'm sorry. And we have a lot of people here waiting for... A factory. <laughs> okay. We have a lot of people in this line. And here we only have two... Uh, two lines, right? The school bus line and the Westbrook. So there's probably people that are going to Westbrook. Probably. Probably. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, okay. And another thing we probably would do is if this main avenue... I could, if it works fine, or it, if it works the way I want, we could probably do some other public transportation. And I'm looking in here to trams, which are something I already have available. Uh, do I have monorails available too? I have tram, met subway, cable car, monorail. No, I need to reach 11,000 so I can have a monorail. Okay. But before starting any of, it, any of it, we need to take care of the debt wave we have in our town. So let me just pause it for a while, for a little bit. Let's look at the debt care graphics. So we have one cemetery which is pretty much getting full capacity. We cannot build, can we build anything? Can we build, yeah, I, I think we could build some kind of crematory. But uh, that, that's from the Steam Workshop, from the main game itself, I don't think we can. We could eventually build a different kind of cemetery we have. Do we have a... Yeah, I think we could with Rico. Let me look at Rico. I think we have... I think we have a different kind of building. I'm not sure where it is. It definitely is not... Uh, maybe I don't have it. I think I had it, but maybe I don't. Let me just call it. Let me just see. Yeah, we have oh, an ancient cemetery, normal cemetery, and a BTB body collection. Which one is cheaper? This one is cheaper. But it only has nine, but and it has more capacity. So. It's definitely cheaper, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we could use this one. Let me let me see how it looks. We could build one around here in um, around here in Victoria Town. 
I'm not really sure where I'm gonna place it or where I should place it. I mean, I don't want to place it in a, in, a, in a strange location. I mean, we could place it around here. I think we could place it next to the police station. Does it make sense? No. It should be probably next to a clinic, right? Do we have a clinic? Yeah, we have one here. But <laughs> but we what well, what do we have next to it? Oh man, it would destroy this walking pad, which I really don't want to, unless I build around here, which would destroy two houses. Which wouldn't be that bad, but it's so central. I don't really like it. Not in such a situation. So I would probably prefer to build it maybe around here in this corner. Yeah, why not? So this will take... Whoa, what? Oh, man. Really? I built a clinic. All right. I just spent money. <laughs> I just spent money. With no reason at all. I want to build this one, dude. This one. Okay. All right. So this will take care of... Doesn't doesn't really look like a cemetery at all. It's kind of creepy to be honest, but it's gonna take care of this um, that wave that we have here in Victoria Town. There's an empty building here. Where is the? Oh, here it is. Let me just erase this building so that people can build another house around there. <laughs> all right, and in Westbrook. We should also have some kind of crematorium or cemetery. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm probably, yeah, this one we're probably gonna go with the normal cemetery. I think it's it's better. It's more expensive, I know, but I think it will work better in the end. And I'm not really sure where I'm gonna place it. There's so many locations we could place it. Um, what about here? I really don't want it near the houses, so we could we could build something around here. Eventually, uh, we could build some. I don't, know, I don't know. We don't really have. Oh, we could build around here. I, I don't really don't want to lose too many houses. I don't. I don't want to lose people. We need to grow our city to the next level, which is. The small city where where it will unlock other other stuff that is important for what I want, like trains, monorails, and other stuff. <laughs> and other stuff, of course. Uh, okay, we could let's just build something really simple right now. Um, around here, probably. I really don't. Man, I'm gonna destroy this. And I, I'm. Is it good to have a cemetery right next to a high school? Uh, uh, not a high school, but um, elementary school. I don't, I don't think so. But I also don't want to have too many. We could do a small. Yeah, we're gonna do a small, uh, small road. Wait, we can do it like this. It's only gonna destroy one house, but it gives enough space for building another one. And uh, we could have like. No, we're gonna probably destroy two houses. Probably. So we have this small connection over there. And now we can build a cemetery around here. If if there's enough space. Yes, there is. Barely. <laughs> we're gonna destroy so many houses. Oh boy. Not not exactly what I was thinking. We're gonna destroy at least two houses. Um that's okay. We can do that. We have another cemetery over here. And we could definitely build more houses in here. Normal. Not high density, just normal density houses. And this is an elementary school. Can we place a commercial in here? Yeah, we have demand for commercial, not so much for residential. I could do something else in here. Not that for now. All right, um, so what we're going to do now that this is kind of fixed, let's unpause, kind of. We still have a problem with trash. We are, well, we do have a good process. So we are processing enough, but I guess it's, it's kind of far away. So 
there's facilities in here that cannot reach all the garbage issues we have we have some issues around here not not too much I'm not, I'm not really gonna gonna work to you see the 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 the, the trash uh, car or truck is collecting trash <laughs> but we probably should have more I mean we have how many are 12 and this other one has 10 we should be should be good should be good okay so I already went away of what I really wanted to do so we are going to build high density buildings and we're going to rebuild this section in here with at least some avenues and that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna try to do this section right now on a time lapse so it's gonna be a bit more faster and yeah when I finish I will try to explain what I did and how it's gonna work okay so I'll see you guys really soon Okay, guys so I'm back and I did lose a little bit of money while trying to uh, remake all this build all this street so now we have a like this main Avenue uh, a few things to do I need to pause in here I forgot to do a little bit of line line work so in here the guys from here can go either this way or this way and the guys in here can come this way and also this one in here can come for this same way so they kind of cross around here so there's this like uh, yeah it could become a bottleneck around here eventually but over here um, wait I'm sorry I really need to know learn a little bit more this kind of other stuff so over here where is the point here it is so this guy in here can go all the way here while this guy over here only goes uh, could go forward here or here okay kind of like that I think that's the best way and this guy here could go forward into this section over here or it could go this way yeah well this one can only go this way okay and these in here you can only go forward into this section and here can only go this way okay so you kind of try to make the lines work the best way possible or something like that so next Let's go here, where this section can only go forward. I would say to this section in here. Well, it could it could also go here, no problem. And this one, it can only go uh, here. Okay. Meanwhile, we have these guys in here that can only go this way, and these guys in here they can go either. Uh, forward or 
left, right? And in here, these guys can only go right, and these ones can go either forward over here <laughs> or no just forward yeah just forward and uh, finally the last thing I need to do is say well these guys well in here is an avenue so there's nothing to say over here uh, speed limit this is important for me so these guys are driving a hundred and then in here it's 50 so I would say we would go keep it everything on the 60s so I would go, can it go? yeah this section it could always go 60 should we, should we keep should we always go 60 in here the main avenue yeah why not I mean it's a CT. No, I really don't want that. Sorry, guys. So we're gonna go maybe like this. Um, yeah. Over the bridge. Here in the bridge is okay to get 60, right? Here is okay because you have the highway and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's basically it. What I did in here, right? Um, I also placed. Let me unpause. I placed new zones, new high density zoning. So we are getting now higher buildings or higher looking buildings like commercial buildings that will get more workers, kind of, I think. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this empty spot in here. I mean, the park, because of this kind of <laughs> strange connection, this this in here is it doesn't really look, I couldn't use in this section over here. So I had to place it a bit further down not really sure what's gonna happen over there I also had to rebuild a little bit this section in here like you probably already saw and we have this kind of connection okay now the thing is I'm thinking about uh, you guys know there's like two lines in here uh, at least one line that connects Brooktown to Evergreen Park and my idea is probably to stop it probably to remove it and try to build some kind of tram line around here so that could be a possibility uh, but I'm not really sure <laughs> I'm not really sure right now I need to let me look let me look at the buzz lines at the moment so the blue line which is the one we could probably replace let me see how many passenger passengers are we traveling we only have two buses we could probably add another one. We could add another bus. Which how many how many passengers does it? Can I okay sixty? Yeah, we could definitely place another one. So we're gonna have a third uh, bus on the blue line, which is the bus line number one. Uh, okay, I just the the bus line with more people is definitely the yellow line because they're all students and we only have like two but they're big I think they're big ones right how many people how many or only 95 it does have a lot of yeah the bus line is full we could have another one so we could definitely be bring another yellow bus so another one for the school so we can have more students going on let me look at uh, Kind of pink line the one that connects to crescent hill it's not full it doesn't have that many stops but it's a long distance so people do wait a little bit so it's not a problem if can can we can we place another another bus another Merce, mercedes okay we can place another one we're gonna place a bus for all of them a new bus for all, all of those lines uh, what about the green one? The green one takes us to Victoria Town and it's completely full around here. What is this bus line? Okay, it's full over there. Alright, so if it's full over there, we definitely it means we definitely need more people. How many how many people come in this how many people can we have? Only fifty, okay, so we could it's a more comfortable bus line, but we could have 
this one that can bring 60 people so we could have like two bus two new buses like this one that have a little bit more capacity and we, it's definitely gonna increase that line and finally the orange line which does even though we have four it seems to have a lot of people in here in this stop so let's let's have let's have one more I think five buses is okay so the bus lines are at least the orange one it's kind of completely full around here it does have a lot of connections around here it does have a lot of stops which is cool and and great but at the same time oh we have a fire we have a big fire here do we have oh yeah the bus the, the fire truck is extinguishing the fire which is cool okay it's, it's okay all right so um let's look at what we can do uh let me just look at something we have that little space over there we could place a, a rico house probably would definitely look better but we don't have demand for houses um all right so it definitely seems like a tram could help a little bit but we have bus lines and we have the orange line uh, the tram would definitely connect Brooktown to Westbrook. Uh, and I think I, I said I was going to change. Uh, it's this is no longer been going to be called Brooktown. It's only going to be known as Brook. It's now a district, so I think Brook looks and sounds better. Uh, we have Westbrook, we have Brook, and then we have Victoria Town, which is a little bit more separate uh, from uh, from the others places which is something we need also need to grow later on in the future so but let's go back into the trams um i definitely would go with in here we would start around here so we could connect i really don't know how we would connect in this uh, runabout which is kind of getting a bit of a problem as you guys see there's like this strange why why do the, these cars stop in here probably it's the way it's it's built it's not properly working and so there's a little bit of traffic and that's something we could try to fix on the next episode of course or maybe on today's episode yeah I'm probably gonna try to fix that today we still have enough time and I'm gonna try to do that while connecting this this uh, this road to trams kind of uh, interesting right uh, by the way let me just place some trees around here to have this location a bit prettier a little bit prettier uh, let me also try to go with uh, a little bit less spacing I'm not sure maybe something like that does it look good uh, it kind of does look nice I mean the only reason is well when the tra tram is coming it's kind of you see like a line a tree line so it looks kind of more <laughs> natural friendly green kind of okay so I'll do a time-lapse and when it's done I will show you guys maybe with a with a point of view of a tram and by the way I'm not sure if I have specific trams if I did download any specific tram okay anyways let's start we have money I'm not gonna unpause the game and I'm gonna just time-lapse it
Okay guys, so I'm back. I've created a simple line. Um, it starts here in the factory and it goes to Westbrook. Uh, it goes to Brook. Or it goes to Westbrook, but it stops in Brook so in some uh, specific uh, stops near the, the main avenue. In the main avenue, not near the main avenue. Maybe I could even make a stop instead of here. I could make it a bit further in here, maybe in the in the tunnel. I don't know. I, I think here it's better. There's gonna be it's a it's a high school, so there's like people in here, and it has a kind of connection with the with the bus lines. It's not the only one. You do have another one somewhere further on, I think. There are some places nearby bus lines, so I'm not really sure how it's going to affect the bus lines, this tram line, but I just decided to do it anyways. Uh, eventually when this grows up and we could definitely make it grow yeah I'm gonna bring the this tram stop around here because we can grow eventually this up and then it turns on back uh, we could eventually in the future just change it and grow this line it's I decided to also had two let me look into the there are 16 stops by the way I decided to add these two Citad Cit Citadis 302 Barcelona style tram vehicle. It's something I downloaded from uh, Steam uh, Workshop. It has 110 people or passengers capacity. So it, I think it's gonna be good. I think, oh, yeah, or at least I'm hoping it, it will be. By the way, uh, we do have demand for industrial. Uh, we could we could build. Not, 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 a fa not, not a factory, but we could build like a small... What is this? Uh, yeah, we could build something like this. It, it does fit around here. So it kind of... It gives a bit more industry demand around here. Or to fix a little bit more the industry demand. Um, let me unpause it and let me see how it looks. Uh, we have... We have pipeline problems Ooh, we do have we don't have this in here connected so we will just connect this in a short period of time All right we already have a tram line is it, is it? Oh, yeah, it's fixed we already have two trams as you guys can see purple line it may maybe it will affect a little bit of traffic I'm not really sure how it will work by the way there's a lot of cars in here Oh yeah, I forgot something. Uh, how is the speed in here? It's 40. Do I really want to be in 40s? Oh, everything in here is 40s. Here goes to 50s. So everything I done before is kind of. Oh, what about? Oh man, line management now sucks. Now I have to do line management again. So further on we will see how the how it's gonna fix the problem when it comes to uh, how many people do we have in the tram stops uh, we don't have that many people right now but it's definitely something to have in mind all right guys so like I said let me just uh, do I have a tram line in here yeah we do let me just see how it looks by the tram it looks to be in the tram so this is the look of our city it's kind of is it lagging a little bit probably it is it's kind of heavy right now and it's raining so yeah here goes the tram let's see how many people we have in this tram 28 people yeah it's I think it's okay I definitely think it's okay all right so um, the last thing I'm thinking about doing I'm not sure if I'm able to do today or but at least I can start planning it kind of is oh, we have what, what do we have in here we don't have educated workers what what uh, okay 
you, yeah, we only have two uneducated workers. Uh, how is education, by the way? Let me look into our education. So we have 34% of our civilization, or of our population, citizens from um, Grimoire, is not educated. Uh, we have barely enough capacity for elementary school which is kind of okay and also high school but we definitely need uh, probably an uh, university we don't ha really have that many highly educated or yeah we definitely need probably probably we do need more we do need more there's like a lot of citizens without education can we do some kind of policy in here uh, we could try an education boost, so we're gonna prioritize education over working for young ad adults. We're gonna spend a little bit more in here, but we have money, so that's definitely for the entire city. Ooh, we have a we have a building, an abandoned building somewhere around here. I have no idea where the building is. Oh yeah, we have buildings in here. These ones are... I have to erase them, unfortunately. Um, Alright. Now, we have huge demand for commercial, huge demand for industries or offices. And what the hell? Oh my god. Look at this. Jesus Christ, there's no, there's a huge fire and there's no fire trucks coming here. I mean, we have a fire station over here, right now, right here, like firehouse. Jesus. It's, it's gonna burn the entire, it's gonna burn the entire place. Oh my God, it's. It's remarkable. I have to say it's remarkable, but completely crazy. <laughs> we just completely lost our... We are losing a huge section of our farms. And it's kind of crazy. Wow. I, I, just, I just have to say it's kind of like, wow. All the trees are being burned. Did they come back to life? So, <laughs> oh my God, this is this is this is a nightmare for these people. I mean, a lot of people lost their houses in here, right? There's like a lot of. This is a huge fire. It's still. Where's the? Jesus Christ! I don't even know what can be done in here. Honestly, I really don't know. <laughs> Uh boy. I'm just gonna let them fix it eventually. Uh, anyways, still a lot of big issues when it comes to garbage. We have a lot of problems regarding garbage. So that's something we need to fix later on. But I was thinking about building a city park in Brooktown. We have we have small we have like this plaza. We have this small park in here also. These are, you know, vanilla parks, so they're, they're kind of like default stuff. And I was thinking about probably building around this city somewhere a park. It would be good to be more centralized, maybe around here, but you don't, we really don't, you really don't have that many buildings that have like these low density buildings and they're kind of okay, I guess. Uh, we could try to build some kind of park, maybe higher density buildings around here, maybe, I'm not completely 100% sure. It's nearby, it's nearby a, um, a tram stop, so yeah, it's okay. Uh, honestly, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna build it, but that's probably gonna be for the next episode. I'm, I'm not, I'm pretty much sure that's already... Uh, a big time. I was also thinking about building another bridge connecting these two points around here, but I guess I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. 
There's a huge fire still going on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is kind of big mess. And 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 where are the fire trucks? We have fire trucks in here, but they're returning to why they're not Okay, let me look at the fire. We probably need a fire watch. I think better with some music. I think that's that's what we need. We need a fire watch. Isn't that so we can watch <coughs> I'm sorry, so we can watch the entire trees we have here. We definitely need a fire watch around here, okay? So we could build this one around here so it will kind of cover all of it and kind of stop the fires. Hopefully. Not really sure if it will. I'm not really sure why we we could use six. We could use six trucks and we're only using two. Why is that? I have no idea. And honestly, Crimson Heels is so uh Crimson Heels, I'm sorry. I don't know why I called Crimson. But Crimson Heels is so far away. I mean, the entire trees, everything in here is going to be burned. All these trees. All the work I had to to build uh, the farms. I mean, this is a this is a this is crazy. This is gonna be a big setback to the entire industry. Although, I still have work. It's just kind of they're still they're trying to work out with this burned land, which probably will become more fertile eventually. Okay. Um. Oh, we could build a park here which is nearby the central station nearby these other place in here which is the city hall and you do have okay, I'm not gonna say walking distance but it could be almost walking distance for the trams if you want to uh, by the way with the tram, how is the blue line, the bus line? Is it is it still good? Yeah, it seems good. Uh, the tram lines are they're okay. They have like places with a lot of people. So this line in here has a lot of people going going in. So yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's definitely making people use more my public transportation. I don't I don't think it's a problem when we have the tram line and bus lines stopping nearby and and transporting people from one place to another to the same place probably i don't think that's much of a problem uh, it gives gives um free choice for them so the people can so or your citizens can choose what is best for them anyways guys that's it for today's video i was hoping to probably do the park but i'm i'm pretty much sure i'm not gonna do the park off camera i'm gonna see what is happening in here I need to understand what is going to happen and how I can fix it I'm not really sure if I can fix it properly I'm not even sure what this does for first fires and fire spotted from a tower immediately alarm the fire brigade first fires can only be put okay we need helicopters so that's that's a problem. That's why this entire tree is there. Still gonna keep on burning because we need we need an helicopter to to stop this. I, they consider this like a, a fire, like a, a forest, I think. So all the trees are going to be burned. Pretty much sure of that. Okay, guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and uh, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, before I forget, don't uh, forget that we have a um, giveaway happening. So just click down below in the description. There's a giveaway link. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Cheers.